Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. In this video we're going to do something different guys because we are going to be going over the increasing concerns that I am seeing everywhere of this kind of colossal market crash that people think is you know imminent and um, they're getting rather worried because prices are at an all-time high which I think is totally explainable. I think if you look at how much money is now in the system it's never that's at an all-time high as well which would kind of correlate with why some of these stocks um, and you know other commodities and even things like housing although i think the reason housing is at an all-time high is far more simple we've never had such a um a, a large population we only have a finite amount of land it's basic supply and demand with why housing is as expensive as it is and when we talk about a crash and, and, and lots of people refer to michael burry who was the big short he called the 2008 financial crisis and made a lot of money as a result of it shorting the uh kind of debt um in the system um, and 2008, by the way, for anybody who's into finance, is probably one of the key moments in financial history. Because what it did was essentially government stepped in. It's no surprise that everything shut off, shut up after uh, 2008. Because what governments essentially did was they stepped in and said, "Look, we're not going to allow you to fail. We'll just print as much money as you need, uh, thus devaluing everybody else's buying power." We're going to cover all that in this video, guys. I just wanted to really touch on it. I'm going to read this tweet to you first of all, and then we're going to get into it all and look at a number of different things like stocks um, and, and, and why you really shouldn't be that worried. Um, because as long as you're in assets, uh, and I actually don't, I, I own a few stocks. Um, I own silver mining stocks, um, and I'm playing around with some SPACs, um, which is a kind of uh, a new way of IPOing, if you will. But other than that, I don't largely own stocks because I see a lot more value in things like cryptocurrencies, um, in things like gold and silver, in things like you know property, um, than I do stocks. Uh, however, people have made lots of money with stocks, just my preference, I'm not saying you can't. So Michael Burry tweeted, uh, people always ask me what is going on in the market. It's simple, greatest speculative bubble of all time in all things by two orders of magnitude. Flying pigs, 360. And he's absolutely right. All Most stocks out there, I won't say all, but the majority of stocks out there are largely um, overpriced if you look at their balance sheet and you look at their earnings. They are they have been speculatively inflated, um, whether that's through them buying back their own shares or whether that's through um, you know retail kind of trying to trade them or what, whatever it's whatever it's through. Something like Tesla has only recently become profitable. I think they, one of their first years profitable or uh, one of a few years that they were profitable um, was was last year. Um, and essentially, if you look at how overvalued they are in in comparison with earnings, you've got stocks out there that are a hundred times uh, more valuable than their earnings. Um, so of course there's speculation in the system. That, that, that that's the same with everything, and it, it has been since the dawn of man. A bubble, uh, which is the word that you use, yeah, you could you could say that. Um, but I think there are a number of assets out there um, that essentially, and when he's talking about markets, I, I think he's largely referring to the stock market. Is the housing market in a bubble? I would probably argue that it's not. Um, people go, oh well, it's at an all-time high. Well, of course it is. You know, there's never been. So many people on the planet uh, in history, um, or that we know about, if, if we can trust historians, which I, I don't really think we can. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, so of course there's going to be a growing demand, basic supply and demand, um, with a devalued monetary system, um, a devalued fiat system is it, just the perfect storm for house prices to be at an all-time high. It makes a lot of sense to me. You know, it, it, it's very finite land. Um, you know, until we colonise Mars, which I, I think is a, 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 I mean, we've not even been. Anyway, I'm not going to go into that. Um, of course, housing is going to be at an all-time high and it's going to continue to climb, in my opinion. Yes, you're going to have dips. This is 2008 here, guys. Nasty, nasty dips, which essentially was, you know, the, the, the financial crisis and housing got hit a lot more hard um, than things uh, such as gold. This was gold in, uh, sorry, no. Uh, this was gold in 2008. Um, you can see that is a lot less severe as, as, as things like stocks. 2008, which really suffered. This is the Nasdaq. Uh, this is the S&P. Uh, sorry, the Dow Jones got hit really hard. So we have crashes frequently. We have them essentially every 10 years or so. Um, you know, we, we literally had a crash. This is this is uh, March 2020, guys. Everything sold off violently, uh, including the crypto space. And it wasn't really for any fault of crypto. It was through fault of people pulling liquidity out of the system. Because what people want to do in a crash, or when they think a crash is coming and prices are going to plummet, is pull their money out of something, have it sat. They want to take a fiat position until they can find and, and re-enter their 
um, sort of hedge against fear. So I don't really think you've got a lot to worry about uh, if I'm being totally transparent with you. Uh, I think a crash um, is inevitable. Um, we know that from history. There's never been a financial system that's lasted. It's as simple as that. Um, and there will be one coming. And how you can mitigate that is by being in, in what I call real assets like Bitcoin, crypto, um, you know, gold, silver, housing, um, own production things like farms, um, stuff like that. I think that's one way you can really mitigate. I think stocks, if the current financial system tanks, um, what you will find is, let's say, um, for example, people lose faith in the dollar, which I've I've, I've got no faith in it as it is, but when people wake up to what's really going on with the dollar and people lose faith in it, well, what do you value your stocks by? Um, you know, they then become, if people say, hey, look, the dollar's worthless and you're uh, £150 a stock, well, your stock's only worth 100 and £150 pound isn't worth anything now. Do you, do, you, do you see what I'm trying to say here? So, of course, there's going to be a, an inevitable, you know, fiat system failure crash. Um and Michael Burry will, will admit that himself. Um, but what he's calling out here is that there's a lot of speculation in the market. You know, he said crypto, the problem with crypto is, is the uh, leverage. We know that's true. This sell off was only as severe as it was, essentially due to 772 or 776,000 people getting liquidated, which is a, which is a record. And, and we're still where we are. We're very bullish on crypto. We're very bullish on other assets out there, even though we're largely in crypto. We don't. Um, I don't really play around with the stock market. Like I say, it, 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 for me, I own a couple of stocks, uh, things like silver mining companies. Um, but ultimately, I, I don't play with the stock market. It's just not my forte. Um, I find it very, very interesting. Um, however, I think when I look at um, something like uh, housing or gold and silver or things like that, or, or crypto, you know, I, I know the value. Um, whereas Stocks are largely inflated. There's tomfoolery involved. You know, it, it, it is what it is. But if, you, if you're in the stock game, so be it. But I think, you know, when people go, okay, the reason we think it's going to crash because it's at all-time high, um, yeah, it, it, it makes new all-time highs continuously. Uh, and you have crashes along the way. You know, this is the NASDAQ. This is the Dow Jones. This is the S&P 500. This is gold. This is Bitcoin. They make new new all time highs virtually every year, guys. Just with crashes and, and trying to time the market, are you not better off just investing and and, and and locking it up for a longer period of time rather than going? Oh, I'm going to wait because what happens is you might wait um, and then, in actual fact, you've waited. You're only here and you end up like here before you get in, or you, or you try and get in on this crash and you're already higher than you are. So I think that people largely are over exaggerating this. I think I think Michael Burry, of course, tweeting about it, and he, he didn't say that there was an imminent crash coming. He, he's just pointing out what to, to all of you should be quite obvious. You know, lots of things are in a bubble, but it's a sustainable bubble that's being propped up by the government, which is essentially what 2008 did. It, it, it you know, allowed governments to step in and go, okay, we'll um, keep you afloat, but, you know, at the cost of, 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 of everybody. I mean, 2008 is, is really a horrific moment in finance. Um, it really was, and I, th I think a lot of people got away with that that shouldn't have. Um, I, in fact, I think a lot of people got away with that that are directly responsible for ruining, destroying millions and millions of people's lives, and, and, and some of them got away scot-free. And I, I think that they're, you know, I know we're years down the line and we're kind of kicking up rocks, but it, 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 to me it's horrific uh, what, what happened there. And, and it's really um, set in motion. It's no, no surprise that everything after 2008 just continued to shoot up in price because mon mon monetary supply just got um, inflated essentially thus devaluing currency. So I think there's absolute reasons. I think when people talk about a crash, go and look at a longer time frame. And people go, oh, well, we've never been this high. You know, it's getting hard. We're, we're, we're always um, making new, new all-time highs and, and have never been as high as we were. We just have peaks and troughs within that. And trying to time those can be dangerous. People will do it. And if that's your um, what, what you kind of want to do, by all means. Um, but ultimately understand this, guys. When you're valuing something in... Uh, accordance with a fiat like the US dollar, it's only going to go one way, and that's up, in my opinion. Um, and ultimately, I think there is inevitably, like history has shown, there's going to be a, a, a kind of global financial uh, nightmare where people kind of lose lose faith in the fiat systems. I don't think that's going to happen really anytime soon. Um, I think you know it, it's 
yes, I, I know, you know, I know a lot of you guys watching that are into crypto understand that cash is trash. But I think for the majority of people out there, it, 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 the, the cogs haven't quite turned yet for them to um, understand what's going on. So I really wouldn't worry, guys. Um, yeah, you know, a, a crash could happen uh, for sure. And it, it, it could be soon. But the bottom line is, you know, the same way no one really saw. Um, I wouldn't say no one because I'm sure there were people out there. Um, the crash of, of, of March 2020 that we can see here on the NASDAQ. Um, we can see it here on the Dow Jones. You can see it here on the S&P 500. You can see it here on, where are we, where are we? You can just about see it here on, um, on uh, gold. Uh, and you can obviously see it. We know what happened with Bitcoin as we spoke, or as we were speaking about it when it was happening. So that's really what we're having this video, guys. I don't think you've got many reasons to worry. I know we're at all-time highs, but I think there's a lot of reasons for that, especially when you look at the, the basic reason that we're weighing everything up in fiat, which is just continually losing value. So of course, these things are going to go up. Go and ask your grandparents and your parents how much they bought their first house for um, and where it is now. And that's just a real sign of inflation, essentially. And, and there's no signs of that stopping. Um, they could do things like up interest rates, which would put a bit of a spanner in the works for things. But ultimately, in the, in the macro scheme of things, um, there's only one way that assets, commodities, um, um, you know, real assets and commodities are going, and that's up in uh, in in uh, opposition with the US dollar. That's all I have for you in this video, guys. I just felt like it was something to address. Let me know what you think. Maybe we will perhaps um, we are a crypto channel. This directly does, of course. Um, affect crypto because a crash in the stock market would affect crypto absolutely it's, it's like that because people try and pull liquidity crypto is, is certainly if you're in the bigger crypto smaller crypto is a bit of a nightmare to get in and out of is um, a liquid game and um, so they're of course going to pull cash out of of crypto in order to um you know save the value of, of of whatever they've got we're rambling on now guys that's all i have for you i just thought we'd cover this i'm gonna love and leave you on that note i will see you all in the next video if you enjoyed the content like it was appreciated so is a comment and i'll see you all in the next one thanks a lot for watching guys